Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve a uh, JavaScript error. This says errors 2738 could not access VBScript runtime for a custom action. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So what you want to do is copy the first command I'm going to have in the description of the video. Not really so much of a command, but really registering a DLL file. And we're going to go ahead and copy that and then paste it into the start menu. It should say best match, should come back with the same thing, and it says run command. Go ahead and left click on that to run it. it should say succeeded, and then do the same thing for the second DLL file. And you want to run that as well. Now, depending if you're running a 32 or 64-bit version of Windows, the first or the second one might not work for you. In the, my case, the first one worked and the second one did not. And that's not to be unexpected, to be honest. So pretty straightforward there, guys, with just you guys restart your computer at this point. If you're still having a problem, another thing you can try here once you've restarted is open up the Start menu, type in CMD. Best result should come back with Command Prompt. You want to go right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, followed by a space, and then forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter the keyboard and run this command. It might take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, hopefully your issue should have been resolved once you restart your computer. Attempt to run the file again, and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.